President-elect Donald Trump's growing list of cabinet nominees is facing new criticism. J. O'Brien shares more on new fallout over some of Trump's selections. Former Congressman Matt Gates, President-elect Trump's choice to be Attorney General, now under fresh scrutiny. The months-long House Ethics Committee investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct involving a minor and illicit drug use automatically ended last week when Gates resigned from Congress as soon as he was nominated to be Attorney General. But today, an attorney for two women who testified before the Ethics Committee, now telling ABC News correspondent Juju Chang, one of his clients witnessed Gates having sex with an underage girl. What did your client witness? She testified in July of 2017 um, at this house party, she uh, was walking out to the pool area and she looked to her right and she saw Representative Gates having sex with her friend who was 17. Attorney Joel Lepar also saying Gates paid his adult clients for sex. The house was very clear about that and went through each. They essentially put the Venmo payments on, on the screen and, and asked about them. And, and my clients repeatedly testified, what was this payment for? Well, that, that was for sex. The House Ethics Committee now set to meet Wednesday amid growing pressure to release its report on Gates. Gates has denied any wrongdoing. The Department of Justice investigated the allegations and declined to bring criminal charges. Meantime, Trump's choice to head the Department of Health and Human Services now being criticized by his own family. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who Trump has pledged will, quote, make America healthy again, pictured with McDonald's in his hand on Trump's plane this weekend. Today, his cousin, Caroline Kennedy, daughter of President John F. Kennedy, speaking out about RFK's opposition to vaccines. I think Bobby Kennedy's views on vaccines are dangerous, and, um, and I, but I don't think that most Americans share them. Kennedy claims he's not anti-vaccine, but has repeatedly promoted the false claim that vaccines cause autism. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.